Now you may or may not have heard of resveratrol. This is what's in red wine in the grape skins that is really very healthy for the brain, uh, nootropic, or actually helps grow new nerve cells, really. Uh, resveratrol is highly associated with longevity and anti-aging or age management, and it's very strongly antioxidant. So I love resveratrol, and I just, I'm so happy I'm able to take this every day. I'm happy for my brain, actually. <clears throat> so what is resveratrol? Well, it is what's called a polyphenol. Technically, it's a polyphenolic phytoalexin. I think I said that right. Um, so many big words when you come down to the chemistry of uh, natural medicine, it's so awesome. Anyway, it is a phenolic compound, which basically means it's a phytochemical that has antioxidant properties. What do I mean by antioxidant? Well, we all live in a balanced state of pro-oxidant, antioxidant. In the process of our cells making energy, and then also when we encounter toxins and different um, chemical substances in our daily life, as well as mental stress, uh, we will have byproducts that our cells produce called reactive oxygen species, and those degrade proteins, degrade cell membranes, and generally wreak havoc, <coughs> excuse me, generally wreak havoc throughout the cell. So anything you can do to reduce the number of reactive oxygen species back to the level that your body really needs and wants, and in, in other words, not having excessive reactive oxygen species floating around, anything you can do to do that, you're doing a great deal of benefit for your health and wellness. Resveratrol helps you do that, especially in the brain. So it's very strongly antioxidant. Also, what's really cool about resveratrol is it is one of the most, I guess, potent or most powerful upregulators of CERT1 or CERT, which is uh, what it is, is a protein that is highly associated with longevity. Uh, in other words, with increasing lifespan and more importantly, with increasing health span. So there's a lot of research being done right now on different medications and treatments that can increase longevity and increase the health span. Um, and one of the proteins that people are looking heavily at is the CERT, because it basically it has to do with a, a different gene in the nucleus that encodes for different products that come out in the cell that improve health and wellness. And then this protein tells the nucleus to upregulate the DNA to produce those molecules, well, resveratrol upregulates that whole process. And that's one of the reasons resveratrol is really good for your brain, besides the extremely antioxidant capacity that it holds. Uh, what else can I tell you about resveratrol? <clears throat> it's been shown in multiple studies. Now, most of these studies are animal studies, of course, but more and more human studies are coming out, and the basic science is clear. It's actually been shown to reduce tumor formation and tumor growth, so a lot of people believe it to be anti-cancer. Um, but at least at the basic science level, it does show promise in that field, and it's being looked at in a lot of different human studies for that purpose. Uh, but primarily, I would say what why you would want to take resveratrol is for the antioxidant protection of your mitochondria and to protect your body, particularly your brain, from oxidative stress over time. Uh, so this has 400 milligrams in it, which is a pretty good dose. It's not like too much, but it's not too little. At least that's my opinion. Now, some people who are purists will want you to take 900 milligrams a day. Other people wouldn't want you to take more than 100 milligrams a day. But I think ultimately for brain protection, if that's your goal, to reduce oxidative stress in the brain and to get out of that pro-oxidant balance that most of us live in in the United States nowadays, uh, really in the world, honestly, I think that you need about 400 milligrams, so that's why I put that in here. Uh, so resveratrol is a main component of the nervous system multi, which again is primarily designed for a few things with the nervous system, brain health, reducing neuroinflammation, protecting from neurodegeneration caused by oxidative stress, and then to reduce damage to the peripheral nerve endings, which reduces nerve-based pain, such as neuropathy. And resveratrol does this by being antioxidant, and it's also anti-tumor, and it's also pro-cert, meaning it helps produce all of the elements you need for an improved and increased health span and lifespan. It's a longevity molecule, basically.